Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my mom's luxury skincare routine. She uses the brand Shiseido for the most part. If you don't know what Shiseido is, Shiseido is a Japanese skincare brand. They have been around for so long, since I believe 1870s. Also in my last video, I am currently hosting a giveaway, so if you want to enter the giveaway, be sure to click the link down below. Anyway, I'm going to move you guys to the bathroom. <laughs> so let's get started. I am wearing a little bit of makeup today. I wanted to see how efficient her cleanser is. So the cleanser that she uses is the Shiseido Clarifying Cleanse Foam for all skin types. So I'm gonna see if this actually removes any of my makeup. So the full size of this cleanser, which is 125 milliliters, is $36. Now, personally, I think that's a bit expensive for a cleanser. I just put like a pea size. It foams up really, really well. I think it is fragrance because it smells fragrance. You see that? That foams up a lot. It's really rich and creamy and I like that. It smells like a shampoo from like a really nice hotel, but it smells amazing. For those who don't like fragrance in their skincare, I definitely would not recommend this. For those who aren't really that interested in skincare, they buy products just because it's meant to do what it says on the bottle. Like, oh, a cleanser is supposed to cleanse your skin, but there are different cleansers for different skin types and so not everybody gets to think about that. Okay, I just dried my skin off. I I am not a fan of this cleanser. When I was actually washing off the cleanser, I like things to wash off very smoothly, but like as I touch my skin and I try to wipe away the cleanser, like my skin to skin contact would like kind of stick to it almost, like it felt stripped, kind of sticks to my face and I kind of drag it. So it has more friction when I wash it off. As I'm talking, my skin feels kind of irritated and dry. You wanna make sure that you're cleansing your skin with something that's not stripping and something that is actually a lot more nourishing, especially for those who have dry and more mature skin types because as you age you do lose moisture in your skin even to those who have oily skin types I, I just wouldn't recommend this cleanser and I don't see how this is one of their best sellers because I looked on their website and it was like oh best seller this cleanser says it's for all skin types but I don't think it's for any skin type. Let's be real now. I don't recommend this. I don't like it. I would not use this again, and I definitely would not recommend it for those who have dry skin. It's not worth $36. Moving on, mom, get a different cleanser. After that, she actually has the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. She loves this. She used up two bottles at this point. I actually have a review on it. I just did an alpha hydroxy acid peel, the ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution. I am not gonna use this one today, but just as a little quick review. This is a very, very strong product. So for those who have sensitive skin, this actually might be a little too irritating for you just because glycolic acid is one of the smallest molecular forms of alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs. So it sinks into the skin a little bit deeper than let's say other forms of AHAs like mandelic acid or lactic acid. My mom's skin is more on the mature side. It can really work well for any sunspots to even out any fine lines that she wants to even out. This actually does a really good job in toning and brightening the skin and I do like it I just will caution people that it is a very strong product Not a lot of skin types will actually get along with this Make sure that you're not overusing it because like I said it is very strong On days she doesn't use this ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution She will use the Shiseido treatment softener enriched for normal dry and very dry skin So this is one of like the mini -er sizes This is 75 milliliters for 150 milliliters, this is actually $50. So this is supposed to hydrate and soften the skin to fight signs of aging. I don't know what is in here. I'm just basically doing a first impression. My skin is pretty dry from that cleanser and so I'm just toning up. By the way, my skin does get red every time I touch it. It's completely normal. It goes away in like a couple seconds. My skin's always been like that. Oh, okay, first of all, first of all, the cleanser did not remove all of my makeup. There's still a lot of foundation on here. That is why some people double cleanse, folks. It actually has a really nice thick liquid consistency. This feels weird to me because it's kind of heavy. First, it's very light and it goes on really nicely, but once it sets, it almost feels heavy and almost kind of like oil. 
which is really weird. I looked into the ingredients and it actually has fragrance and alcohol and essential oils, which there's nothing wrong with it if you are not allergic or sensitive to those. To me, this is not worth how much they're selling it for. It's quite heavy, which is weird, and especially on my T-zone, it's kind of sticky. Getting into her serum, so she uses the serum after she uses her toner. She uses the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. Ultimune? Hey, it's not pumping anything out. Luckily, she has like 30 of these, so here's another bottle. Interesting, it kind of smells like alcohol. That's so weird. Okay, it smells like rubbing alcohol. Oh my God, it's sticky. It's so weird, okay. Oh, oh. So it begins to like dry down, it becomes kind of sticky, but when it touches my face and when it touches the toner, it becomes very, very sticky. I can't even like drag it up my neck without it like pulling a little, like causing too much friction. I just don't know. So I guess it does dry down quickly into this tacky, thick form. It's so weird, it feels like glue. Oh, ow. <coughs> Looking at the ingredients list here, it does have alcohol, glycerin, dimethicone, fragrance, of course, and then it has rose water. It doesn't really do anything, it's just basically another word for fragrance in water. More essential oils, BHT. Honestly, I'm just seeing a lot of things that does not really look that great. So for this bottle, it's actually $75. Is it worth $75? Absolutely not. I think it feels weird. It feels like I'm gonna break out into an allergic reaction, which I hardly, hardly ever do. For oily skin, this definitely will be way too heavy for you. $75 for this, definitely not worth it. She has three different moisturizers, two from Shiseido and one from Fresh, and she has like multiple of these ones in her skincare mini fridge. This is the current one she's been using, so this is the one I'm actually gonna try out today. This is the Shiseido Bio Performance Lift Dynamic Cream. It looks like a spaceship. It really looks so much like a putty primer. It's super, super, super thick. It's very thick. It smells citrusy, so there's definitely fragrance in here. Literally, what the heck? My fingers are very oily. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very heavy. <laughs> This moisturizer is $140. I definitely don't think it's worth that. My face hair is like when I rub a little bit down gently, my face hair is like slowly rise back up and it does it so slowly because it's so patted down. So it does have fragrance and essential oils. It has caffeine and ginseng and rosemary. The only thing that stands out to me there is the ginseng root extract. Last thing is eye cream. And so she uses the Shiseido Ultimune Eye Cream Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. Eye cream is nothing you need to worry about if you are on the more youthful side of skin. If you do have more mature skin then you can definitely use eye cream although I just think eye cream is a diluted form of moisturizer so you could always just use your moisturizer underneath your eyes now that I have completed her skincare routine my face feels weird to be honest I hate it I really don't like it it feels weird first of all this line her skincare is definitely made for drier skin but even for those who have dry skin types I don't think that this is something that I would go out of my way to recommend somebody I don't really see a lot of beneficial ingredients I'm not a fan hi guys it's me again I had to film the intro and the outro separately so anyway Shiseido at least the ones that I've tried I don't like it I don't think it's the worth the money very very old school and very outdated you can definitely tell from their formulation there are a lot of other products that are more innovative nowadays maybe if I was like in the 1800s I would be like this is the best skincare products ever skincare does not have to cost a lot of money to be good I think the only thing that I actually liked from her skincare routine was definitely the ordinary the eye cream was just oily the serum was overly sticky the face cream was just way Way too thick it felt almost like a foot cream anyway that is it for today's video thank you for watching let me know in the comments down below if you want me to continue on the series give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and I will see you in the next one bye